Hi, in this video we'll be taking you through how to get gold in Grand Theft Auto V's 6 mission chop. We'll be cosplaying as a fairy and finding out how truly dumb Lamar is. Hi and welcome back, my name's Dan and I'm an old grumpy gamer. Grand Theft Auto is a truly massive game. Between GTA V and the constant updates from Rockstar for GTA Online, there's no shortage of new content and interesting things to do. Join me then in our continuing series, Getting Gold in Every Damn Mission in GTA V, as we take a look at Grand Theft Auto Mission 6, CHOP! And don't forget to hang about until the end so you can catch our bonus easter eggs. Before we dive in, if you're new to the channel, we do how-to guides, news and giveaways. So consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay up to date. To get gold in this mission, we'll need to return Lamar's van without a scratch, players chop for no less than 10 seconds, and use Franklin's ability for at least 7 seconds. So let's get started by jumping into Lamar's van. As soon as Chop's in the car and Lamar jumps in, the GPS will pop up, so we'll just follow that to the first waypoint. And don't forget to use Franklin's ability to avoid scratching Lamar's wheels. Okay, pull up to the left. Doesn't matter which way you pull in, the van is reparked anyway, but... I'll back it in just because I feel like it. We'll get to the cutscene, at which point we attempt to kidnap the Bala, and it goes about as well as you would expect it to when Lamar's in charge of anything. Okay, after the cutscene we'll jump back into the van. You can see it's been reparked, so it didn't matter where we put it, and then we can chase the Bala. This is scripted, so don't worry about trying to shoot him or run him over. It will be a complete waste of time, am ammunition, and effort. Again, don't forget about Franklin's ability. This is really, really handy to avoid traffic because we still need to keep up with him even though it's a scripted event. Okay, so keep up the chase. All right, now as we sneak down to the left here, we'll duck into a side alley. Keep an eye out for that bus and then head down and poof. Always look both ways before crossing the street, boys and girls. We'll grab Chop out of the back of the van and then go for a jog. Now again, this is scripted, so there's no point trying to shoot him, there's no point trying to run him down or do anything silly. Just chase Chop, get over the fences, onto the, sh the bins or the shipping containers, and then crash through that fence again. Right. After a bit of a chase, you'll be prompted to swap to Chop, which we'll do straight away to maximise our time in his perspective. Okay, swap as soon as you can, and take a breath. We can't actually control Chop, there's no point trying to move around as him, this is 100% scripted, so you cannot do anything except go along for the ride. Swap to Franklin as soon as you're prompted, and then go and open one of the box car doors. Doesn't matter, our boy isn't in here anyway. Swap back to Chop again. Again, we're trying to maximize the time that we're with Chop so that we can get gold. Chop will get um, distracted. So after a few seconds there, swap back to Franklin and run straight over to Chop. And there's a quick cutscene where Franklin will pull him off. Swap straight back to Chop again and we'll be back on the trail. So after a few moments, Chop will pick up the trail again and head straight to another boxcar, at which point we can swap back to Franklin and open the first boxcar door on the right. And back to Chop, remembering that we're aiming to maximise our time as a furry compatriot. We apprehend our target, load him into the van, and jump in. Then follow the GPS to the drop-off. Lamar being Lamar, he will make a call from his own personal cell phone and then blow the operation. Right, drop off the phone. And then drop off the bala. And follow the GPS back to Lamar's place. And that brings us to the end of the action. Before we get to the bonus easter eggs, I'd like to say a massive thank you to our Patreon backers, whose contribution allows us to keep making these videos. 
Patreon backers get access to most videos early, are automatically entered into exclusive Patreon-only shark card draws, receive priority responses to questions, and are invited to join any of the old grumpy gamers whenever we're playing online. Details on how to become a backer are in the description below. And while you're there, don't forget to enter our semi-regular milestone shark card giveaways, follow us on your favourite social media channel, and visit our website for all the latest in old grumpy gamer goodness. So, thanks for watching to the end. Here are some great little easter eggs hidden in this mission. Welcome Back is rumoured to represent the last time we were in the colourful version of GTA, with GTA 4 being a dark, bleak departure from the over-the-top ridiculousness of previous GTA franchises. Lamar is taking vanity plates to a kidnapping. If you change the radio to Worldwide FM, Rebel Radio or a talkback station, Chop will go troppo because he's not a fan. Uh, not doing that here because, you know, copyright claims. And bonus fact, there's a very good chance that Lamar suffers from a chronic case of Dunning-Kruger. So, what are your thoughts? Do you have any tips for other viewers? Or could this have been done differently? Leave your comments down below. Check out the video on the left for more fun with Chop, or the one on the right for the next mission, Marriage Counselling. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.